I was very surprised when in the Rajya Sabha debate on the 10% forwards quota bill, one political stud after another began with a stinging rebuke, then wrung his or her hands and ended with an abject no, never, but hold on, maybe, yes. This country is a 1.3 billion people and you have brought this bill to benefit 4500 people is bill ka nishana 2019 ka chunav hai hum chahte hain ki aap ye sari cheezon ka gambhirta se vichar kare varna ye skill bond baby hoga ye non starter hoga aapka ye pura evc ka concession this bill also redefines india's poverty line 32 rupees a day but if we are looking at the number of 8 lakhs a year this is the new poverty line is 2100 rupees a day aakhri ball pe chhakka mara hai aur ye bhul gaye ki chhakka aapka boundary ke paar nahi jane wala hai the government thinks that they can unilaterally decide everything and just force whatever their decisions are on the people of this country but when it came to the uh, uh, actual vote all of them except for dmk rjd and uh, iuml quietly fell in line and uh, green lit the bill even in the rajya sabha where the government stood absolutely no chance of getting a two third majority if these uh, leaders wanted they could have easily supported dmk's motion to refer the bill to a joint select committee this bill has to be sent to the select committee but the nation watched stunned in two days flat the alchemy of india's equal opportunity democracy was altered But you know what the sentiment on the ground was and uh, continues to be fractured. Several scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, other backward class uh, uh, beneficiaries fear that this is a test encroachment that could eventually replace caste-based reservations with affirmative action based solely uh, on the economic criteria. After all the uh, RSS has never hidden its desire to rid india of caste distinctions while the current reservation regime sharpens these uh, sub identities now even those uh, entitled to the new quotas are restive many feel that by stipulating such a high watermark a daily household income of 2100 rupees uh, which covers almost 95 96 some even say 98% uh, of india's population for a paltry 10% uh, reservation these benefits they fear will be cornered by the well off in the general categories once again denying the real poor uh, their due now the salaried classes once again feel they are the first to be whipped always uh, while they uh, cannot fudge uh, salary statements those with unaccounted money shall enjoy the what can i say privilege of uh, producing false certificates showing lower incomes finally there is extreme uh, resentment brewing in the top 5% who are not covered uh, by any reservation now nearly 5 crore 5 crore middle and upper middle class indians are asking uh, in simmering anger what's the point of living in a country which outlaws merit just imagine if the opposition parties had uh, been categorical instead of uh, being ambivalent Uh, if they wanted to support it they should have given a full throated unqualified yes and that uh, would have cut prime minister modi's political payoff in half else if they wanted to oppose they should have cracked a loud no saying we fully support the bill but want to examine its pitfalls its infirmities in a select committee for 2 weeks once that's done uh, and the bill has become fair and just for all we shall insist on a special session to pass this historic bill that's what they could have said this would have halted the modi steam roll and given the opposition time to harness the gathering uh, disenchantment into a potent protest movement they would have occupied the critical opposition space exactly uh, as they've done with the triple talaq bill or with uh, the citizenship bill in both these instances they've stood firm they've taken the blows but slowly welded the political narrative away from the government at least with those who are fearing exploitation and uh, disenfranchisement i wonder why they missed that trick here uh, especially when the lessons of uh, recent electoral history are clear 
people back decisive politicians. They endorse risk takers. Today, the country uh, seems again to be yearning for change. What it therefore doesn't need uh, from its politicians is uh, uh, shades of that evocative Bollywood song, Main Pita Nahi Hoon, Pila Hi Gai Hai. That's, I don't drink, but I have been forced to drink. And translated in the Rajya Sabha context, uh, it means we did not want to support the government, but heck, we were forced to. <laughs>